suddenly the great door to the drawing room is thrown open and a brilliant flood of shining light beckons. In front of them stands the largest fir tree they've ever seen, gloriously lit by a hundred tiny, winking, blinking candles. It is loaded with golden apples, sugar flowers and dolls that glitter and sparkle in the fairy light. The children fall on their presents. Fritz canters round and round the room on his new hobby horse. Clara cuddles her beautiful new china doll while Fritz dives into a box of toy soldiers. All of a sudden, the children hear a magical, tinkling tune. The sound is coming from behind the Chinese screen. As they look, the screen falls back as if by magic. It's Godfather's Christmas surprise, exclaims Clara. They drop their presents and rush to see it. On the table stands a magnificent toy castle in the centre of a green meadow decorated with exquisite miniature trees and enamelled flowers. As they watch, the grand door in the centre opens and a filigree pink and silver fairy glides forward. She pirouettes gracefully and retires. Haunting music catches their ear. All the magic of Arabia is here. Snoopy like dancers hidden by veils. And we, with hypnotic charm. All at once, the castle door bursts open again. A troop of bright red Russian Cossacks tumble out. They circle, bob, kick, tumble, fight, and bow. Around the open door, beckoning visitors to enter the castle. Fritz frowns and thrusts his arms akimbo. I want to go into that castle and explore it, he exclaims. That's just not possible. It's a mechanical toy, says Godfather Drosselmeyer raising his eyebrows in surprise. Then I'd rather play with my soldiers, retorts Fritz. He stomps off angrily. 